Young almost falls down. Throws to the end zone. Oh, it's It will change, and I'm not trying to tell you something. Yeah, it's going to change. It's not like that. Okay, but I want you to understand where I'm coming from. It will change. And it will change because they wanted to change, not, not because of me. It will change because they want to be champions. Smith and a gun with Warren his left hip. Third down, Alex takes the snap. Alex looking down. Oh! Upon us, here it is. Bringing that heat for the season opener. You excited? That sounded very flat, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know where I was. Yeah, I, mean, I can't really. Did. I'm sore. I can't really get loose. You know, you gotta give me, give me a break here. You know, it's our biggest episode of the year right now. I don't know about that. It is. It's our prediction episode. The biggest episode of the year is going to be... Well, when, clearly the Super Bowl episode. Right. That's what I was going to say. When I break my drinking edge and I'm, you know, eight beer, eight Guinnesses deep and I'm trying to finger blast your dog, your old lady's <laughs> got me on... She's I'm banned from the house. You better hope we win the Super Bowl. I know. Why? You better fucking hope. I know. I hope. Why? You'll see. I don't know you want to do uh, oh, predictions? Fuck that means right out of the gate. right out of the gate. Bold predictions. All right. So we got bold 49ers predictions, bold NFL predictions. Who's going first? Um. You uh, go first. All right. I got two of each. I got two bold 49ers and two bold NFL. Well, I'm I'll not do... typing two, so you're gonna have to pick one. First one you tell me is the one I'm writing down. I'm doing two. Well, then you write. I'm not writing down. them both down. So. <laughs> okay, I'll keep track then. I'll just text it to you. Uh, bold 49ers prediction number one. Our leading receiver on the team will be someone other than George Kittle. I think somebody's going to step up and establish themselves on this roster. Whether yeah. it be Pettis, whether it be the Debo. George, the George Kittle that lacks athleticism and doesn't have good hands. Yes, except that one. <laughs> the very same. <laughs> I have an amazing bold 49ers prediction, but you go. You want? I'm not doing back to back, or I'll do my second one. Uh, Jimmy G throws for over 4,500 yards. Damn. I don't know if that's good or bad or not. I know it's more than most 49ers. Mahomes, ever Mahomes cracked 5K last year, and that was a big deal. So 4,500 is flirting in that. Okay. Territory. Rob, would you like to go, or do you want me to pop off? 49ers win the West. Wow. Yeah. Papa. All right, you ready for this? Yep. Matt, Miggity Matt Breda, has 1,750 receiving. Ooh. I like it. He's got, he ends up with 1,750 plus from scrimmage. That's a good one. I know it is. Hmm. I think. I'm ahead of the game. Kind of piggybacking off that. Oh, you clown. <laughs> but oh, my, you my, mine's I'm... even bolder. I'm going to do Breda and Coleman both get 1,500 yards. Wow. All purpose or rushing? No, rushing. Wow. That would be my. They each get 15? <laughs> it's pretty bold. That's, gonna be, that's we're gonna not be, just bold. That's like. We're going to be rambling. That's rambled. a historic rushing attack. We do it big here on the GBC. That's Barry, not all purpose. We, rushing. That's rushing. Barry Sanders on crack shit. Yes. No, two of them. <laughs> It's way two, beyond Barry Sanders, Sanders on crack. crack. <laughs> two of them is that? You all laugh now. Oh, I would love to laugh all the way. I mean, I know they're called bold predictions, but come on. Do, do you want to hear some other bold predictions from the past? <laughs> yes, I love when we bring these back up. The bigger load one? Yeah, the bigger load. <laughs> <laughs> all 
Alfred Morris will take a bigger load no, from Matt. Breda, Breda will take a right. bigger load from Matt. Alfred Morris. Alfred Morris. Either that Riddick guy or uh, one of those Patriots links. This is us predicting who the GM and the head coach will be. That's my prediction. You want to predict, Joe? Um, yeah, my prediction is that if the 49ers don't win a Super Bowl by 2020, <laughs> by the time it's 2021, or if they're not going to win that Super Bowl, that, um, I'll drink my own urine. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> so that means you have confidence that they're going to, or you want to You're that confident? Urine. No, I want to just suffer. That's what I want to do. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to drink my own urine. <laughs> A few years. A full Steve, glass. you want to list off the. Uh... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so. I could not get a full glass of your now. There's no way I could stomach that. Now you see why I said you better hope they win the Super Bowl, Joe. Hey, it's either urine or baloney. <laughs> your pick. I will puke everywhere on either front. Thank you to my unnamed source that provided me with that. Jen, <laughs> bold prediction that I should go back and find and revisit. Baby, <laughs> yeah. I might have to drink urine. <laughs> A full glass, I said. <laughs> well, I didn't mind it. Wait, could it be hers? No, you said mine. Oh. You did say yours, but I really don't see a difference. Mine's mine better. <laughs> I would do it straight from the tap. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other dynamic, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, yeah, so there's that. There's that. You may want to start building up to it now. Not, like maybe take a sip first. Yeah, I'm not feeling so bold anymore. <laughs> yeah? Fuck me. The best part is we said you're that confident and you said, no, I just want to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Double down. Uh, thank God for our fans. Yeah. Wait, but I still have. They have this year and, and next year. year. Yeah, yeah. You got okay. two years. I'm cool. No, with you got that. two years. Yeah. All right. we'll I get. took that to mean because you said by 2020, and then you said 2021. Right, that yeah. you mean next year's Super Bowl, which Co- is the 2020 season. Correct. But correct. 2021 yeah, yeah. is played. Correct. 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 Very. Close. <laughs> There's a lot of gold out there to be mined, people. <laughs> if you want to go back and listen to some shit and then bring it back up, there is gold. To what be you mined. don't know is that someone <laughs> sent me that, <laughs> right? And then told me that it happened. And so I went to go look for it. But our episodes only go back mm-hmm. a certain distance mm-hmm. on the apps. Yeah. So I couldn't go back far enough to find it. So I had to have Steve email me episode after episode today. And I listened to like six episodes <laughs> today just to find just that Just to find quote. that clip. All day today. Everything I did today, whether it was mm-hmm. working on my house, I had to go to the bank. Everything I did was listening to old podcasts all day today till I got to that clip. And on the way here, I got it. Now, I know, th- did you um, come across any other... Yeah, I just didn't have the chance to record them all because I was... Right, but do you remember what was said? No. Who said it? Okay. No. All right. Uh, I mean, you know... Some... There was a lot of them, though. There oh, I believe you. Of, a lot of pretty silly uh-huh. predictions on our part. Uh, all of us. So, uh... Getting back to predictions, we got bold <laughs> NFL predictions. Okay, I gotta. You gotta go first here. Papa. I'll go first. I said I had two, but I could easily combine them because they're related. So I'll just make it one. I think that ten wins win the NFC West, and I feel like uh, the Rams fall back to earth and only win eight games or less. Okay. I feel I think the West is pretty weak this year. You can go, Bob, if you Or it's gonna it. be like remember back in the early Harbaugh years or even before that, when when we still had like uh fucking what's it I can't believe I forgot his name. Singletary? Yeah. Uh, the, the it was like nine wins would win the West, eight wins would win the right. West. There was I a, feel a like it's going to be year, one of those yeah. years. Even where, with the Rams, like I don't think that the I don't think that the West is weak. I actually think it's really strong. But I think that we're all going to beat the shit out of each other, and there's going to be it's going to come down to the bitter end where there's going to be three teams in the West that have like eight wins trying to make a push for the playoffs, and there's going to be a team that wins ten wins to sneak in. Or not sneak in. Obviously, you win the West, you get in. But you know what I'm saying? Like it's. I don't think there's going to be a single. 
uh, 11, 12, 13 win team in the in the division. I think 10 wins do, gets it done. Okay, so my bold NFL prediction. Are you ready, Steve? Mm-hmm. This is big. At the end of the season, this is a two-parter. At the end of the season, you're going to see eight massive retirements. It's going to be like... Breeze, Rivers, Manning, or not Manning, yeah, Manning, Brady, it's going to be crazy, right? Mad motherfuckers is going to retire right in one clip, like within a one month span. And then, one of them is going to get caught diddling. That's right, diddling, that's right. Unfortunately, we have to wait until after the season is over to see if your prediction is correct. I know. Do you, can, can you come up with one during the season? One that's going to happen during the NFL season and not after? Um, All right, I can. Just give me a second. All right, Rob, you go. The Dolphins are not going to win a game. Oh, that's hot. All right. That's a hot ticket. Um, A single one. You think intentionally? Or you think that they're just that bad? Partially. I think it's like uh, they're just getting rid of everyone. Mm Mm-hmm. To get to stockpile for next year, I think part of the part of it's going to be fallout, and part of it's going to be maybe towards the end of the season they drop one or two on purpose to stay in that number one spot. It is going to be very interesting if they. I mean, there's one thing to like kind of lose on purpose towards the end, but starting week one tanking. No, I think that it'll probably happen organically in the beginning because they traded away some of their best players. But what kind of message does that send to your players already? Oh, that's great, I love it. Like, I'm love it. That's love it. You got to put on a fucking show here a little bit like you can't make it so super obvious no i think they're going to be a disaster carlos hyde getting a chance in uh houston i mean he he was probably not gonna make kansas city roster i guess he was looking really really bad but and now we got kenny stills over there partying with him i like his opportunity this year in in houston i don't think that he's gonna be like a bell cow or anything but larry bong mass tunsil i think that hyde has had a rough go of it ever since he left us uh first starting out going to Cleveland didn't really get a he shot. Went like ten places. Yeah, went to Cleveland. Then he got traded to Jacksonville, and then he ended up going to Kansas City, and now he's in Houston. And I think that this is finally he's gonna get his career back on track a little bit because it, I am rooting. I like Carlos Hyde. It's kind of great that Frank Gore was let to leave because we had Carlos Hyde, and Frank has done way better since he left than Carlos did when he left. <laughs> yeah, like Frank is so insane. Like Frank is still relevant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he beat out Shady McCoy. In fact, yeah. you know. Um, okay, so my bold NFL prediction. So a sexy pick to win the Super Bowl this year. Everybody would say is the Chicago Bears. Didn't you already go? Yeah, but he told me I had to do it. Yeah, and in season, his prediction uh, was like yeah. after the season. Chicago Bears are not going to win the North. They're going to suck. They're going to fall apart. It's going to be like an epic collapse. Like. Uh, Something bad is going to happen to the real good defensive guy. He's going to blow an ACL or like a back disc or something. A back disc. He's going to be fucked up. Well, something bad already did happen. They lost the mastermind behind that defense. He's now coaching the Broncos. All right. Yeah, they still. Khalil Mack is still going to do Khalil Mack things, but no, the other seventy percent of not. that defensive unit. Poppy, he's not. That's what I'm telling you. That's the bold <laughs> prediction. The bold prediction is. I mean, everybody knows Trubinsky is a fucking puppet. He's an asshole puppet. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck asshole Mitch Trubinsky. Puppet. Do we play the cop? Uh, the- Rob, what we- was your NFL bowl prediction? Or you didn't go Dolphins yet? Dolphins don't win the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do we play the fucking them this year? Who, the Bears? the Bears? Yeah. I'm not sure. I want to beat the fuck out of the out. Bears. Okay. Fuck the Bears. The Bears could suck my dick off. No, home. we don't play them. No, we don't play them. No, we were looking at travel. If we play Cincinnati, but not mm. Chicago. All right. Chris, you got an NFL Bowl prediction? Um, Spit it like a freestyle rap. (laughs) All right, check it. (laughs) Tom Brady will throw the most interceptions in his career this year. Okay. I know he's older, and that's not that bold, but... No, that's bold. I don't think he's going to go out on a high note. He might be smarter than ever. Could be. Could be his best year. I want it so bad to say the Patriots don't make the playoffs is my bold prediction, but there's no way they don't win that division. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's why... You think Tom Brady think, falls I still off? Think the Patriots take that no, I just think like maybe like like they just don't have a year like they normally do. Like other things go wrong, or the defense or something. But that uh, that division sucks so bad it doesn't matter. It's terrible. It's absolutely atrocious. It's going to get worse now with the Dolphins and the yeah. 
They were going to squeak it in the playoffs. No matter what. Throw his most interception. Yeah. I kind of like Darnold a little bit. I think he's all right. I think he's going to be okay. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Motherfucker, motherfucker. Squeak, yeah. squeak, squeak. Lock of motherfucker, week. motherfucker. Yeah, lock it a week. Here we go. Let's roll into it. Let's do it. Okay. Let me go first since this mic is sensitive. Oh, my mic is sensitive. Well, every time I put it, put it down, it cuts the, it cuts the audio. Uh, mine is the Rams minus three visiting the Panthers. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cam Newton. He's a little fucked up, Papa. Good pick. Oh, that's a good one. At Carolina? Yep. The man that they call Stevie Stats, 101. You're keeping track? Yeah, yes. Stevie, okay. I'll, all right. I'll, do it. I'll start it next week. Stevie Stats, 101. I have it all written down the bold. Everything. You want me to go? Yeah. Stevie Stats, 101. My lock of the week is the Niners. It's oh, you, even. I, I knew he'd buy my style. Even. Yeah. You know I'm going with the same shit. I said it before, Steve, at the table. <laughs> I said it. I'm taking the Niners <laughs> blind. Yeah, before. before he knew the spread, he took the Niners. It's true. So, did you get anything from Kern? Well, good for you. He said he was going to email it. Uh, so, I'm going to take the Ravens minus six and a half at Miami. Baka, the Ravens, baka. I don't got anything from Kern again. No current yeah, prediction. Yeah. He'll get it at some point. If not, it'll be there. All right, so Tampa Bay. Oh yeah, what about supposed to uh, supposed to be pretty humid there. I haven't checked the weather report. Chris, check the weather in Tampa for that. Wait, that, is there uh, a chance Sunday. of there uh, being a hurricane there? No, it should be gone by then. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it, the game's not until a week from today. So, it's just, uh, I guess the humidity down there is, is, at a, is at a high point, so it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like over 100 degrees with the humidity. Oh, when I was well, at I my... Chris yeah. on it right now. When I was at my last job, I had to go work in Florida for a couple of days, and it was vile. Mm-hmm. It was fucking swamp-like, vile. My asshole was dripping sweat like I had been uh, like a super soaker 50. I am really excited to see Quan Alexander face his old team for some reason. At there, and it's I'm telling you. It's in Tampa? It's in Tampa. That's Joe, hard. you usually mute, mute the TV. Do not mute the TV. Because you will hear Quan Alexander literally screaming. Okay, I'll leave it for you, Steve. Okay, but if it, if the if the announcers get my new system, I watch they they show me the California broadcast, the local California broadcast. Steve feels 70, like seventy percent humidity. Seventy percent humidity. So eighty-eight degrees with seventy percent humidity. We're no, we're no stranger to that, but they will be. Yeah, well, they're professionals. Precipitation forty-four percent. So a half chance of remaining. Okay. No wind. So, it's, but Steven. Hmm. Steven. Yes. It'll be hot. I don't. I forgot. What I am most excited for in this game is the fact that notoriously, Bruce, Bruce Arians notoriously Fuck hangs him. his quarterbacks out to dry. He makes them do seven step drops the whole game. And we are, especially if, if Bosa ends up suited, we are just going to unleash the dogs the whole game. And it's what I've wanted to see for years. It's Solomon Thomas, DeForest Buckner, Eric Armstead. Uh, if you don't D get Ford, a D line jersey Bosa, this year, we're not friends anymore. I'll get a D line jersey. All right. You this better. is what I've been waiting for for years. But he can't be a white guy. And I could not pick a perfect first opponent than a guy that makes his quarterback do seven step drops the whole game. We are going to absolutely annihilate. Jameis Winston, we are going to force him to throw at least two interceptions and maybe force a fumble. And it's going to get ugly and Jimmy fucking G's quick. Get feed off that. And, and his, they were having protection issues in the preseason. It is going to get ugly. His Let dick me tell is going to get so big after he comes down on them a couple times. Just unleash the hounds. That's what they, yeah, Poppy. I'm so excited to watch our defense in this game. Well, I want to see Jimmy G. I want to see Dante Pettis earn his spot. Me too. And I want to see him do the paw. I honestly think that the offense could just slam this game into cruise control, and we don't even like have to give away any of our that much of our scheme and save it for the next week or whatever. That'd be sexy, Steve. Yeah, we stay on the road week two. Mm-hmm. I don't think Cincinnati. Yeah, they're talking about going to uh, Youngstown. Youngstown. Yep, they love that shit. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am super jacked up for this game. I think that it's a perfect first game. It's extremely winnable. It's my lock of the week. Gets us off to a good start. Gets everybody feeling good. Gets Jimmy feeling good. 
Fan base feels good. I, uh, Kyle Shanahan has lost in week one in back-to-back years. I think it's finally time that we get back on that week one winning track that we were on for so long. I'm jacked up for this game. You going to watch it at home? Yes. Sounds I cannot like, go out in public and watch games. Sounds like Steve might be predicting a win, Joe. Is that what we do now? Okay, we're my do lock we... of the week. So I got, um, mm. when I moved, I kept DirecTV so I could watch the game still. Mm-hmm. And the new DirecTV receivers are wireless, so they connect like in a in a Wi-Fi sort of fashion. Yep, I understand. To, like there's one main yep. one, and because of the way my house is set up, my bedroom is kind of centralized, so that's where the the main unit is. And the other ones are like a satellite receiver. So there's one. I got one in the living room, one in the playroom, and one downstairs. But the point is, I have mobility with it. So I think I'm gonna watch outside. That's nice, yeah. I used to be a big fan of games yeah. outside. I got, um, a, I got a back deck that's got a roof on it. Oh, nice. I have to be able to Class. hear the game. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I have no idea how you can watch a game with no sound. I have to hear it. I have to feel it. Like, I have to be in it. Uh, I, I, and cannot, not, I, I mean, if, if I have to. Not so much for the announcers. Like, they're whatever. But I have to hear the... I want to hear the crowd. I want to hear the hits. Yeah, I, I hear, hear... I would like to do that. I wish I could just hear that. I, but I, the announcers are fucking brutal. They are they're opinionated and they're wrong most of the time. Yeah, until we get good and we get the better announcers. Right. Yeah, it's I can't do it and I won't. I try. I really tried once to to sync it with the radio. So it's like, impossible. It's, it doesn't work. It's yeah. impossible. So I, all I'll say is this: but with the way that I now watch the games, I get the local California broadcast of the game. Yeah, so that's I go. get homers now. So it's dope. That's <laughs> cool. So I might. You just get, want homers. That's right. All right. Well, what the fuck? No, I mean, I would love to listen to Greg Pop every single week. It's just, it's sometimes I get lucky and find that stream, and sometimes I don't. That's right, Poppy. So, that's that. All right. You got anything? Uh, before we get to our predictions, do you have any feelings for the upcoming game? Feelings. Yeah, feelings I think it's week. a good first game, too. Is this a new feelings? Feelings of the week. <laughs> feelings of the week. I like that, I like that, <coughs> like... Travel games are always tough, but I like that it's week one because we're so amped up and mm-hmm. ready. It's not like mid-season travel. Um, you don't want to get to mundane. Yeah. I'm and thinking. we're traveling to the Tampa Bay Bucks Stadium. We're not going to fucking Lambeau Field. Yeah, Kansas we're not going to Pittsburgh Stadium. We're not going to... Arrowhead. Shit. Even uh, as much as the New York teams suck, like MetLife Stadium has an uh, atmosphere. We're going to fucking Tampa Bay. because it's got racist New Yorkers. We're going to Tampa Bay here. So it's... I mean... Yeah. Perfect. It's a win. It's a must win for me. Oh. Like, we have to win this game. Wow. Otherwise, what? You're going to drink a glass of your own urine? I definitely won't say that, but I'm going to be pretty <laughs> fucking upset if we lose this game. Some fucking fan you are. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the prettiest thing in the world. I Just think what I was Beat the tra- fucking Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think what I was trying to say is that if, if, if they go another two, three seasons here and they still don't get it done... Oh, we, sh- we should all be drinking our own urine. Yeah. Well, don't bring agree. us into your fucking insanity. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> this is terrible. We might all slit our wrists, but we're not all drinking urine. <laughs> it's just not happening. I mean, I wish I would have said my wife's urine. Yeah. I wish you wouldn't have said drink urine. <laughs> but it happened, Joe. I no, mean, I'm just trying to... <laughs> all right. Steve. Do you know um what Tampa Bay's defense Golden was ranked showers. last year? Was it what? Huh? Tampa Bay's defense was ranked last year against the pass. Shit. 28. Shit. 20. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, my numbers. Third worst. They call you. Oh, wait, no. Third worst is not 28. You're close. close. 29. Yeah. Papa Chulai. Papa Chulai. All right. Uh, score prediction actually, for the game. Actually, third worst would be 30. No. Because yeah, there's 32 would be teams. 32. Second worst would be 31. Yep. Third worst would be 30. Okay. Rob is correct. Farts. It's a tricky math thing. Yeah. Farts. Uh, score predictions? Fiddlesticks and farts. 27-17 win. Don't all go at once. I'm waiting on Joe here. 28. 17. To 9. <laughs> I thought he was going to... Price is right, your ass. No, no touchdowns, huh? That's right. All right. Like or that. they might miss like an, that. or they might yeah. miss an extra point. They you might get go, it either way, but you're thinking all they might goals. go for two. I was, but they might go for two and get denied because right. Quan Alexander fist fucks somebody, maybe all one right. of the cheerleaders. I mean, it's a very symbolic game. Lynch back in Tampa. Yep. Quan back in Tampa. Quan Alexander is going to play with one of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers cheerleaders 
fisted on his hand. He's going to use her like a club, like Patrick Willis yep. once did. He doesn't yeah. even need a club, but he's going to get a club anyway, just no, to stick it up somebody's ass. ass. No, he's, he's, no, he's, no, he's using off. a woman <laughs> as a club, I think is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. Right. I was trying to take it in a different direction. Like I, I got that part. Okay. Yeah. You were going to go to <laughs> the last too. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, 24, 19. Just steamroll me, you cunts. 24, 19. I wish I had ice cream. Steve? It is just an absolute romping. Oh. 36 16. Romper. Niners. Would you ever wear a male romper? See the, <laughs> the male onesies? I, how much money are you giving me? No, if your wife asked you to wear one for the wedding. Like a, a male romper suit. Dude. You really think that that's a. Of course I wouldn't. I feel I'm insulted that you're even asking me that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how would the lengths you'd go to please your wife. I don't know. Not wearing a romper. A male romper suit. It might be a good look for you. You'd look like a baby boy. You see the one Chappelle wore in a special? Well, that was like a mechanic suit almost. Yeah. yeah. But I'm thinking I was thinking like shorts for him, yeah. you know? With like little suspenders, <laughs> you know, like a cute little thing. I heard people got all sorts offended over that special. People wrote that people were offended. People wrote that. Okay, I was hoping to get the truth. I mean, I don't. Who knows what the truth is? You didn't watch. I mean, anybody can write an article. Did you watch it? I yeah, saw it was awesome. Someone, it, saw was? Someone, yeah, it was okay. hilarious. I thought it was really funny. I mean, it's all meant to be funny. It's not meant to be serious. Of so course. If you take any comedian's jokes and write them down as serious, they're offensive. That's it is yeah. what it is. You yep. know. All right, so what are we moving on to here? It's, it's like saying if you write down what happened in a football game, it's it's pretty much boring. You I know think what we're I mean? uh, yeah onto emails. He blew the whistle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they downed the ball on the third hash line from the left. We are just littered with emails this well, week. Well, we got to say the other things. Steve. And I you do that. Love it. Say the other stuff because I got to read all Please these. Please keep is sore. the emails coming. Goldbloodedpodcast at gmail dot com. You are the fuel. Of this engine, you got to keep us going with the emails. You could donate to us, uh, you know, for all the uh, all the dedication that we put into this. We give it to the cats. You know, we we do meet up every single week, no matter how bad the season is. We're there every week. Steve is making a push. When Steve's making a push, that means the wallet's got to come out. I mean, we appreciate the hundreds of you that have already donated. Even just a dollar a week, we appreciate it. So if another hundred of you just donated a dollar a week, then we're all good. Uh, a month. A it's, dollar, it goes whatever. by month. Yeah, monthly monthly subscriptions. So that's four dollars a month. Come on. Patreon.com backsplash Gold Blooded Podcast. Make Check us fiver. out there. Make it a fiver. Fuck it. I see some more action from Curran on the Instagram lately. I'm liking what I'm seeing. He's uh, gearing up. He's ready to start slapping hose with his dick all across the state lines. Gold Blooded Podcast, one word, no underscores. That's right. Not anymore. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read some emails here. The first one has some audio. So here I'm going to give you the... the, the title and body? But, yeah, but it's the written, I don't know. It says... The title and the body. Here's your audio, Steve, from Matt, Matty Matt Matterson, the lifeblood. And? He says, I may have another email if I have any opinions about the final preseason game. I am just getting this audio done out of the way. So I gave him a chore, and he did it. And he says, an audio prediction for, and I can't read the rest. So Now Chris is going to rock it on the ones and twos. For week one. I got the other half. Oh, well, I don't it's know. Funny. Okay, well, whatever's going to happen. You got the key. I had the lock. Yeah, I'm sorry, the gatekeeper. So in the re- recent episode, Stevie Stat says I should step up my audio game. Well, I'm just telling you guys... The last time I did this, you guys played it back in April before the draft happened. And that audio I did before previously was a 10-minute audio. This is not going to be a 10-minute audio. But I'd really like to give S- Steve a reminder. Just remember that I can... So things sound... And make it sound like I'm talking really slow right now. Or I can talk a little faster, sound like I'm addicted to helium. Addicted to helium? Uh, should I 
really be focused on this last preseason game. I mean, I'll see keep what? an eye out. I um, may watch highlights. We'll see. I'm just not going to be extremely focused on this game. Um, the last preseason game, I'm more stoked with the Tampa Bay game, so I'm just going to throw my predictions out there. Tampa Bay 13 49ers 24 You guys pick uh, hey, just for fun I other assume teams other teams uh, a, a different game you guys throw in the pool. I like to, to do this one for fun just to join in and uh Okay, See if uh, get. to test my uh, pick em, uh stats uh, because there's about three divisional games in week one and I'm going to pick Cowboys over the Giants if you guys let me in. Um, You're in, Matt. Says, I'm looking forward to game one. You got that down, Rob? Day. I am out. No. Really? <laughs> All right, that was phenomenal, Matt. We appreciate what was this? Cowboys. 24-13. Oh. Yeah, 24-13, Niners. And his lock of the week is the Cowboys. No, I'm not doing that. Okay. 24-13? Yep. We're all in a pretty close window, huh? Next up. Uh, we missed one, by the way. Enrique. What did we yeah, miss? That was before. The first Enrique was bef- the one before Madison. Oh, I have it after. I have it after. There's two well. Enriques. Yeah. yeah, they're both after Madison for me, too. Oh, that's weird. That but you that's know weird. what, Rob? Clay they the were Rams. originally like that for me, and then it switched on my email. Weird. Okay, so, so in Chiefs re- and Chargers? Clay and the Rams. I have Clay and the Rams, and then, hold on. Just do Clay and the Rams. What? August 27th at 4.30. Chiefs and Chargers... Or this is terrible radio. Just read an email. Chiefs and Chargers was the first one. I don't know why it's up there, but okay, whatever. No, no way. It's the other one. Sorry, Clay. It's yeah. Okay, Clay, so, Clay and, and the Rams. Rams. So has anyone realized this is from Enrique Enrique Sanchez? So has anyone realized that Clay Matthews, formerly of the Packers, has been acquired by the L.A. Rams back in March nineteen? Steve was completely wrong about the Rams. He said that all that talent wouldn't be able to work together, that they won't make it to the playoffs. Well, Steve, they made it to the Super Bowl, and now all their weapons are healthy, and they have clay. What doesn't make sense about this is this was before we recorded last. That's why it didn't make sense to me. I got it five days ago is when yeah. I have it. Tuesday. We recorded on Thursday. Right? That's uh, odd. Oh, no. It was 27. The... Yeah, we recorded Weird. Thursday. Yeah. I don't know. No, well. um, so he's so Enrique's got like seven emails, is what you're saying? Yes. So Steve, got it. what do you have to say about that? Fuck the Rams. They are gonna fall this year. I agree, Enrique. When fuck the Rams. Time, like, Clay made any noise. Yeah, fuck Clay Matthews too. He's a rapist, allegedly. Bold. Is he gonna, bold? Is he gonna be the diddler? Bold. He's a, he's gonna retire too. That cunt. Okay. Um, no. Elway and McKinnon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Enrique Sanchez, uh, two of 16. Um, Broncos GM John Elway wants to trade for one of our backup quarterbacks. I would say yes for a first or second round pick. Any thoughts? I would think a second round pick would be <laughs> high hopes, right? <laughs> I'd probably do a backflip if we got a second round pick for one of our backup. Yeah. We, we paid a second round pick for Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. My guess is we want a third. I would think so. I, that's where we drafted CJ. I don't know what they see in CJ. I think that's that's what it is. Uh, I heard um, big I play potential. Who talking? And they were saying that you keep hearing rumblings that maybe Jimmy and um, Kyle aren't exactly on the same page. Mm-hmm. And they say it comes from Kyle prefers a quarterback that's more like a robot. Mm-hmm. This is what the play says. You do. You do what the play says. And we're all going to work out fine. We're going to win football games. And Jimmy's a little bit more of a gunslinger. Mm-hmm. 
which is why it worked out so well at the end of his first season because he didn't have the whole playbook, so it was a little more from the hip. Mm -hmm. Um, And why he struggled at the beginning of last year because it was a little more trying to play by the book. They say that's why Shanahan has such an affinity for Cousins because he's robotic. He do what he said, do what do what you tell me, do what you say, and they say that's what he sees in CJ. You can tell CJ do this, throw the ball to this guy, and he's gonna do what you said rather than yeah, but that guy's open over there, where Jimmy's the opposite. We've, that's what they say is what Shanahan. Says. I'm not saying that's yeah. what I see in him, but they're saying that's what Shanahan. Says. I don't know how you could just. I mean, I understand that quarterbacks develop over time, but we've seen what five games of CJ's rookie year, and then what eight games of CJ's sophomore year, and not impressed. A well, single bit. Well, we all agree that he's. Smaller. We think he's going to put Mullins at backup. Yeah. Which means he sees Mullins ahead of him. But I think if you look around the league at backups, that CJ is at least middle of the pack. Sure. There's some really bad backups out there. I would agree. I mean, when, Brian Hoyer just got cut for the finally. But when you covet something you have more than anybody else, nobody is going to offer you anything to take that away. Yeah. yeah. I guess we'll see how it plays out, Stephen. What, Back- would, you, what would you take for him? CJ, I take a fourth. I take a fifth. I would take a fifth. I think for CJ. You gotta get the third. I think anything. You gotta get the third back out of them. I think that's the way they see it, but I think a fourth would probably be good enough for me. Yeah. Because we have Mullins. Yes. If we didn't have Mullins, the price goes up because yes. we don't have a backup then. Okay, so back to Enrique Sanchez. The real opinion that matters in this case, the case for Jarek McKinnon, as he says, with the Vikings. I don't know him personally. But he has been a hard-working player since his time in the Vikings. He was a prominent running back with the Vikings, even though he has experience injury. The Vikings wanted to keep him, but weren't willing to pay him as much as we did. Other teams wanted him, too. That's saying something. With the Niners. ACL is not something that could be prevented. It just happens with players. We can't blame him on that. But twice already... He has worked hard to try to come back, and both times his body was not ready. It's not because he doesn't want to play, or is lazy, or because he is a pussy. He wants to play. He wants to contribute. Oh, man. You're a bit much, Enrique. It might be better to put him in the pup. Make sure he actually has time to heal. Yeah, I know two years isn't enough. Uh, Yes, he will miss six games, but do we have three good running back and we don't know their condition come week seven we might, actually have four it might just be perfect to have mckinnon come back when our running back are tired and beat up to take the workload or at least help but as joe and the rest of you continue tarnishing his name <laughs> remember that he is trying to come back in any chance he is able to i will shed zero tears for an Jarek acl McKinnon. injury for a running back is different than a quarterback Jarek mckinnon has been deposited into his account Jarek mckinnon got paid it'd be one thing if he was about to get paid and got hurt and he didn't end up getting paid because he got hurt yeah then i'd feel bad for him we paid his ass a lot of money he doesn't need to work another day in his life enrique, his kids don't need to work another day in their life enrique is very critical of the gbp as a whole it's not just any one of us he's, he's calling us all out all right next cole m ripped off is the title cole m is the author what's up gbp crew it's been a while since my last email Figured it was about time to wake up after this cunty offseason. Last episode, you guys briefly touched on the abomination of the preseason game in Canada. Well, I can give you a firsthand experience of how much of a shit show it was, because I was there. Yes. God only knows why they chose Winnipeg to host the first NFL game in Canada since who knows when. But I had some expandable income and thought it would be a good idea to go to the game and get hyped up for the regular season. How fucking wrong I was. Fans were only told hours before the game about the change to the field and the fact that none of the starters would be playing. Plus to hear on the news that the Raiders staff had been working on field attempted to blame Canadian faculty staff for their fuck-up only further fueled my hatred for the Raiders. Luckily for me, I got good enough seats at an okay price. I wasn't one of the chumps who paid 400 to be at the 50-yard line. What? Let's be real. Whoever thought an 80-yard field with no kickoffs was acceptable for an NFL game is fucking retarded. And no starters? What a fucking joke. So to cope with the fact I'd already bought tickets to this dumpster fire, I did the only thing any self-respecting Canadian would do. Got as drunk as possible. 
Before kickoff, I was six shots of whiskey and three beers deep. I only became more of a degenerate as the drinks continued at the game. By halftime, I was yelling obscenities at every Raiders fan I could see, which was a surprising amount in my garbage city. <laughs> kind of surprised I didn't get kicked out. I made friends with the other two fellow faithful in my section, one in a Kaepernick jersey and one in a Patrick Willis jersey. I don't remember how the game ended, probably because I was too drunk. So all in all, a successful evening. The only thing that would have made it better if I had a gold-blooded podcast business cards to hand <laughs> out. Anyway, super excited for the podcast and the regular season to be starting again. Fuck the Raiders. Go 49ers. Peace out, faithful Cole. Well, send us your address, and we'll send you some business cards. I'll send them. Fuck it. I think I have them still. I'll find the business cards. Baby, find the business cards. <laughs> She's on it, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta drink urine. A whole <laughs> cup, I said. <laughs> oh, I don't believe I have. Okay, Enrique Sanchez is still here. Oh, we might have to put a governor on this kid. <laughs> All right, Colts something and Char- we've never done. <laughs> Colts and Chargers. Enrique Sanchez. This is from two days ago. Hey guys, so you guys put out an episode before I was able to send the email. So this observation from the last two preseason games at Arrowhead. Jimmy looked better. Time will be his alley. Ally. That's alley. That's alley. Can you help me out? It's also it's alley. 100% Allie's alley. Alley. Ally. Ally? Yeah. Damn. I thought it was it's definitely an alley. <laughs> it's a sleazy alley. Um, Staley is still slow, but agree that he might be reserving his energy for the season. I, you and I agree there wholeheartedly, my friend. We have a lot of really good wide receiver, but now I see the need of a number one. If no one breaks out, then it's something we should look into. Yeah, we'll send out a search team. <laughs> <laughs> Say with the running back. Brita, what a catch. Versus Chargers. I honestly fell asleep, but still have some observations. Colbert left the field angry. I tried to rewatch and see what happened, but didn't catch anything. Well, because he knew he was fucked. Rob said the injured players were from previous regime, but Bosa and Hurd aren't looking good. CJ is best quarterback against third and fourth string defense because he looked electrifying. Okay. You should maybe look into being a scout. You have a lot of valid opinions. Okay. I love the font on this. Can we just try this last name? Well, I got Matt Matterson. You do? I have Ricardo. Yeah. Nope. Madison. Madison. Yeah. The one the GBP intro. Sound. Okay. So this says in capital letters, everybody. <laughs> in size 200 fonts. GBP intros is the title. Hey, crew. Just in time for episode 199 and 200. Wow. Congrats, boys. We made it 200. I decided to make two. And since you guys put out two separate episodes in a week, maybe use one for the hour one and the other for hour two and let the listeners vote. I tried coming up with some lyrics, but my (laughs) lyric writing is horrible, and I recorded myself singing, and I can't stand listening to my voice, so I came up with other alternatives. The Through the Years audio. I got very artsy. It's longer than the usual intro you guys have, but it's for anyone needs a refresher of what this show went through the years. we We haven't listened to any of this, so this is... GBP, this is all party news to us right now, so we're fucking stoked. We listened to like a 10-second clip just to make sure we had the volume right. Okay, the shorter intro, well, it's shorter, obviously, but it's what listeners can get a little idea of what to expect when they hear the podcast. On my pick, it would be the Cowboys. (laughs) He really wants in this fucking pick-em pool. Hey, we have to discuss if we're doing a money pool. We discussed that a couple weeks ago. We what Survivor? This week. Survivor or do are we putting money on larks or I don't know what are we doing here? I'm up for whatever. Be whatever. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Okay, we'll pick it then. Boys. Do Survivor pool? Yeah, I thought we did both last year, right? Yeah, we, yeah, we did. Yeah, but Survivor be... usually lasts like four weeks and everything's that's, out. Well, that's why we should do both so that at least we have one to carry through the year, even if it's like ten bucks I each. Think we should at okay. Least do you know, just if if locks. if people don't want to do more, then the lock should be like one one that we do. Okay. At least that's a participation yeah. week. All right. Well, we could figure that out in the group chat then. Yeah. For this week. Yeah. 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 Okay. We All weren't right. prepared Are we for ready that. For the artsy one? Yes. Well, yeah, we're ready for I don't. Number. All right. So we might need to take a back to back audio, might be a little overwhelming. We might have to take a little break in the middle, but we'll see. We'll see how short this short one is. Well, we don't, we'll, 
This what? is the long one. This is the long one? Yeah. All okay. right. Slow your fucking roll. All right. Don't, hey, wait. Through the years? All right. Don't encroach my style. Unfortunately, I know. I don't think any of us wanted it this way. Jim Tomasulo is the 49% <laughs> coach. All right, well, you're going to have to at least get his, his name right. What was it? Tomasulo. I think the the <laughs> lowest point that we got was losing to the Browns. Jim Tomasulo for a second tenure. I think he would have won at least nine games next year. Good day, 49er fans. We're here. Chip Kelly's at the helm. Trent Balky was told Friday before the game that he's not coming back next year. And Chip Kelly was told Sunday after the game when reports had come out the night before. Maybe. Where he did, because yeah. he started on the episodes I was listening to. <laughs> All right. Oh, Madison, that solid fucking gold oldie. Yeah, I think we go right into the second one. Are yeah, you I think that, yeah. yeah, that that carries into the second. Yeah, one. we All gotta right. hear the next one. So this one is titled "What New Shorter Intro?" That's right. Okay, and we're gonna let the listeners vote. <laughs> Fucking chance, <laughs> uh, Madison. I can tell you, um, in years of recording this podcast, the smiles at this face, uh, the, the smiles at this table have never been bigger. We love it. It's an instant classic. It's uh, up to the fans to to vote. Apparently, so, nice work, Madison. I don't know where they're gonna vote at, but we're gonna um, put a message board up there and. Uh, Curran's gonna have to put yeah, something Curran on Instagram. On Instagram yeah, well, Maybe he could even play the audios in them. <laughs> well, we'll iron something out there. All right, so now um, <laughs> the 49ers won a game. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Dead air. <laughs> Another email from Enrique Sanchez being critical of something I said six seasons ago. Um, I don't even know how he found audio this old to make these claims. Hey, Joe. I know you have been working on that book of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess he could have been listening all along and just didn't start breaking balls until all of a sudden. Right, yeah. That'd be a real psychopath move. Um, 
Make sure you also put it on Audible because I don't read books. I listen to them. Just a favor. Yeah, because you've been so accommodating to us so far. You've been a real... Yeah, 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 Madison's going to read them. Hold on. He's got some kind words for you here. Okay. Predictions on the success of the book. The New York bestseller even in history... Ever. Ever. I'm sorry. Ever in history. Because of all the drug addicts around the world that will buy the book with their drug money. Oh, well, that's a really... I mean, if that's not yeah, really, social profiling, really, then I, I don't know what it really is. Really great word, Steve. What the <laughs> fuck? All right. Okay, so this is Ricardo... Uh, Enrique? No, it's Ricardo Aguirre. I think it's Aguirre. Oh, well, of course you're going to be critical of the way I said something. All right? <laughs> yeah, that might be the best he's ever pronounced something. Yeah. yeah. Let's let him have it. I just... <laughs> he didn't even add extra letters or anything. <laughs> Rick Aguirre. I just figured Maguire minus yeah. the M, right? Yeah. I'm Fuck cool. off. I thought it was the best you've ever done. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> there were extra letters. There were extra syllables. Yeah. I, appreciate the, I appreciate the honesty. You know, this guy being critical... It's only going to stunt my growth and learning. You know, years ago, instead of Aguaye, you would have said Guerrero or something. Mm-hmm. Aguilera. Is what <laughs> <have> <laughs> yeah, probably. All right. Josh Garnett's missing finger. Hey, gold brooded <laughs> crew. <laughs> Cunt season is over, and the regular season is here. So three and one in the preseason is not bad. Well, can I just say, thank God we didn't go four and zero in the preseason. Oh. That's like the kiss of death, no? Agreed. Nothing good ever comes out of 4-0 preseasons. Overall, the last preseason game showed promise. I can't wait to see the Niners beat the fucking ears <laughs> and the tsunamis coming. Mark uh, Zita Cha. That's how you know he's been listening for a while. Is a stud, and Jeff Wilson Jr. looks a fuck ton better than McKinnon. I get aroused every time Wachinski punts for us. <laughs> Wish that was Wich- skate. Wachinski. <laughs> Now Joe's back. <laughs> yeah. Mid-season form, right? All right. I can't imagine how hard Joe is going to get when we finally get to see Nick Bosa and D4 drop their balls onto quarterbacks. <laughs> so here's to a new season. You guys got to bring the fucking heat because it's Super Bowl or bust, boys. <laughs> Keys to victory. Rape Jameis Winston on defense and shove Matt Brady's cock down. Namadun. <laughs> the Namakongs. There you go. Throat on offense. Doesn't he? What? what? Okay. 31 to 10 Niners. Bold prediction for the season. The Colts make the playoffs. Buck the fucking ears and go Niners. P.S. Fuck Jacoby Jones and Kerry Williams. I don't know who they are. Uh, former Ravens. Um, made some plays in the Super Bowl where we lost, I believe. Oh my God. Enrique Sanchez is back again. All right. Governor and not the voted public office. Preseason and predictions. Preseason conclusions. Starters aren't going to be the best in the league, probably, and most likely because of injuries. Well, that's a stupid thing to say. (laughs) It seems we have a really good bench. Another stupid thing to say. Shanahan will have the toughest time trimming it to the 53-man roster. Wasn't this sent after... We already cut it down to 53? Uh, it says 22 hours ago. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Maybe he lives in a place in this world where they don't have internet service, but only every... I don't know. I don't know, Bob. Did you guys... It didn't seem like Shannon had any problem. They just cut the people, and that was that. Giddy up. Move on. Next day, go to work. Get ready for the bucks. Did you guys see the clip of Sherman telling the faithful to stay humble? This fool either matured or is not confident. I would disagree. Questions. Selecting the final roster is the head coach's job only. Like the GM has final word when it comes to the draft and acquisition. It's different from team to team. Shanahan 110% has final say over anything that happens with this roster. John Lynch has a swaying voice and can convince him one way or the other on certain things. But Kyle Shanahan runs this team. I think there are also maybe other things at work with like Parag and other people Mm -hmm. if you have two players ranked very similarly then it may come down to money um how long you have them under control agent something even agent you know oh we know we can work with that guy you know what i mean like for instance if it comes down to jordan matthews and kendrick Bourne, 
and they're equal in every other way, you go, we'll take the young guy with the contract that says this, that we have under under our power for this long, as opposed to the guy that's under a one-year contract. It used to be where the GM always had final say. Now the league is becoming more of a head coach-driven league where the head coach has all the power. Yeah. And it's better when you have a... Yeah, I think it's different everywhere. Though. Hopefully. Like, it is yeah. different everywhere, yeah. yeah. I agree. All right. Yeah, but I agree that ultimately if Shanahan said... I don't care about the contract. I need this guy. Yes. Then he stays. It happens. Yeah. Okay. Season predictions. Debo will emerge as the Niners' number one wide receiver by the time we get to the Super Bowl. McKinnon will come back in the middle of the season when we could use a new weapon on offense. Nope. Season ending IR. Sherman intercepting the ball intended for carpentry. <laughs> Spelling was intentional. Do you think he meant to say Crabtree, but instead made it like the fish? as carp- exactly what happened. Well, it says carp tree, so. It says it was intentional. Yes, spelling was intentional. Yeah, he did it on purpose. So what the fuck does carp have to do with anything? I don't know. It's a shitty fish. You don't even need them. They're, they're invasive. I think that's the idea. Yes. It's worse than a crab. Mm. Crabs. I think it was meant to be insulting. It was. Well, I'm, a, I'm, I'm offended. He took a delicious bottom feeder and turned it into an invasive fish that nobody eats. Fuck him. Jimmy GQ will be the comeback player of the year because he is white. Skip one. Deed line will suffer injuries, but we will still be top ten in the league. Stupid thing to say. Mitch Wisnowski yeah, will be the rookie player of the year because he is white. We will go 13-3, and three, losing to the Rams and the Saints. Stupid thing to say. Rams twice? It must be. Gotta be. We will make it to the wild card game because Rams will be the first seed. Rams will get Is knocked this dude off. A Rams fan? I don't know. He gave me shit for saying they were going to be bad and they were good, and now he's predicting the Rams to win the division. Rams will get knocked off before division finals. I'm not really liking you too much, Enrique. Patriots versus Forty Niners Super Bowl. Niners beating the Patriots after Brady suffers an ACL injury in the middle of his comeback towards the end of the third quarter. This will cause the retirement of Brady and the end of the Patriots dynasty. Do you let you just want Steve back? Aggressive. No. This dude has an affinity for the LA Rams, and I can sense it. Matt Matterson says senior uh, season predictions, and it seems to be some audio. So we're just going to leave you with Matterson. So. What? The season. No, we're ready to play audio. Oh, yeah. the season <laughs> is here. <laughs> Bromsky is here. <laughs> What's his name? Brunskill. I don't even remember <laughs> anymore. Daniel Brunskill. Yeah. Uh, That's he, code. He's got a playing card. <laughs> Brumskill. Brumsky. Brumsky. He's like a motorboat and son of a bitch. What does he play guard? Swing guard. A swing guard. Swing tackle. Is he? Yeah. I thought he was the guard. I knew he was a swing. No, I knew he was uh, a Ben sock. Garland. Ben Garland is the interior backup. Ben Garlic swings. And that fun. dude ben sucks. Brumskill. Brum, brum, brum skill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to leave you with Matt Madison. It's almost like that Fox one. Bah, 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 bah. Season fucking predictions. Right. And if you're in Fairfield County, go see Dr. Donald Miller for all your dentistry. <laughs> Jarek McKinnon is out for the season. We'll see what happens uh, with the him and the being on the 49ers next season. Uh, but still, we still have a, a good uh, running backs on our uh, roster, and we have Jeff Wilson had a part of the practice squad. If needed, you can come and replace somebody if, if it happens in the season. But that said, um, I forgot to make some predictions for my 49ers prediction. I'm going to go bold here. I'm going to say the Niners will beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl. That's what I'm going for. Uh, it would be one heck of a story for Kyle Shanahan. Um, for the NFL, my prediction that the Seahawks will come close to a playoff, close to get, get close to getting the playoffs, but misses by another NFC 
team. Anyway, I'm out really. Did you see how it works?